Lynn Craft is a master educator. She's a person who not only is an expert in her field of Tanakh, but also she gets the kids, both emotionally and intellectually. And what's really amazing about Lynn is that she's been able to accomplish all of this, despite having grown up in the five towns. My husband got a job at the Waiukolo, and my whole family picked up and moved from New Jersey to Chicago. And Ida Crown was the only school I applied to. I definitely decided to become a teacher largely because of my own high school experience. I think that I fell in love with Tanakh um, in high school, but I think what I really, really enjoy most about teaching is creating the relationships with the students. The students in high school are at an age where they're becoming independent and they're starting to think for themselves and they're starting to learn how to think. Um, and I love being, being with them through that journey of self-discovery, of growth, and there's just so much potential. I think that one of the wonderful opportunities that I am so grateful to Rabbi Matanki and Ida Crown for having given me is that I am able to establish these relationships both in and out of the classroom. It started actually as my dream coming to Chicago. I still remember my first year here, I turned to Mr. Harris at some point after some meeting we had and said, based on my experience at my former high school, you know, my dream is to have not only a guidance counselor, let's say, for each grade, but a religious guidance counselor for each grade. And thank God the Walter Foundation made it a reality. There's one person in the school who the young women who return back from Israel go to. They make a beeline right for Miss Craft. She helped uh, their growth here at Ida Crown and helped their transformation in Israel and then helped them to be their best selves. When I first started here, I started um, as a mechanachet, which is a role that she created. And I really learned so much from her just in that, in that capacity, her organization, the way she really thinks about what the girls want to do, what the girls will think, and how she encourages and empowers the girls. We work really well together, and she's a fabulous teacher. The kids are completely engaged. She's always in flow. She's technologically gifted. She, she has a wonderful relationship with the girls, and the reason the girls are so drawn to her is she's a fabulous role model. Mrs. Crafts is a very positive and enthusiastic person. She really takes time to really get to know her students and make them feel like they can be comfortable in her class and really have a sense of getting to learn and grow. Walking into Mrs. Crafts freshman year Chumash class, I don't think I had any expectations. I've always been a very big Chumash lover but it was the first time that I learned Sefer Shmot in a different way with a different perspective and it really showed me a different side of Tanakh. Mrs. Kraft, um, adding to her classroom the Chavrusa Learning. Um, it's basically a partner program where like you like learn together with someone in your class and makes you feel confident in like your learning skills and like allows you to learn by yourself and not just learn straight from her. I remember that when I was in high school, the teachers that stood out most to me in memory are those that were really invested in the students. And Lynn is that teacher. She's that teacher who will spend the extra time, go the extra mile. It really shows how much she cares. Being that it's my 10th year at Ida Crown, um, I definitely feel a part of the Ida Crown community while at the same time recognizing that I've only been here for the last decade and there were seven that preceded me. And I think that that's a really nice balance that is struck here in that they, there's a lot of respect for everything that has been, but there's also a lot of excitement for everything that still is yet to be. Both in my Tanakh department, but also in all the departments, I think that there's a lot of support. I think that there's a lot of camaraderie and a lot of warmth and I really just learn so much from them and appreciate the way that we can interact with each other and provide for the students because of that. I'd also just like to thank Rabbi Matanki, Mr. Harris, Dr. Kahan, uh, Dr. Brown, Dr. Green, the entire administration for really being super supportive. They really love the students, they love the faculty, and they want to give us as much support as they can, and they really do, they follow through on that. I owe a lot, obviously, to my parents for giving me a love of Judaism and Torah, and my in-laws for having supported me and my husband, to my kids and my husband, um, his putting up with a lot of what it means to be a mom who's a teacher. He's been great and really supportive, and I wouldn't be here today without him.
most importantly to me is to thank my students. You know, we laugh together, we bake together, we hang out together, we learn together, and I just really appreciate every single moment.